Hey guys, OscarLover131 here, coming at you with a contest entry for Debt Aquariums. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about why I need dry ferts in my aquarium. I used to use liquid fertilizers from Seachem on this tank that I had obtained a while back, but I have recently run out and just haven't had the funds to restock them. I've also been getting a lot of pinholes and torn leaves from my other large leaf plants such as this red tiger lotus and this is due to the lack of iron content in the aquarium and lack of other um, macro and micronutrients such as potassium. I believe that the use of the dry ferts would help me keep this tank running a whole lot better reduce the number of dead leaves and um, falling out leaves, brown leaves and whole, um, pin holes and ripping so stuff like that and I also have been wanting to up my plants that I keep. Um, so far I've been keeping some pretty basic plants that um, don't need too much in the way of CO2 and stuff but I did want to start keeping some more demanding plants such as Blixa japonica. In addition to my Planet 55 I also have a Planet 65 discus tank which is in dire need of some sort of attention. I've been seeing an increasing amount of dead leaves especially in the Red Ludwigia and this tank is quickly spiraled out of control with the number of dying plants that it has and in order to revive that tank I believe that fertilization would greatly help me out. Another reason would, why ferts would help my tanks and myself is because with a nicer looking tank it would it would really encourage me to do more videos and post more pictures make more content out for you guys because with a good looking tank um, I would really want to like show you guys and do updates and stuff like that and I know um, most of you guys enjoy watching my videos so I think that would be pretty good to my subscribers as well as myself so that's my contest entry for dead aquariums I tried to um, show you why dry ferts could help my aquarium and I also tried to show you some different angles on my tank and really show you what I have going on in this tank and what dry ferts can do I also try to show you guys my 65 gallon discus tank as much as I possibly could. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching my video. And if you would please like the video, comment, and subscribe. See ya.